All right, welcome everyone. Um, I've been called in as the expert, but I'm not an expert. I'm exactly like you guys are. Uh, you're all superstars. If you're doing the individualized thing, you're all superstars. Uh, so thanks for coming. Uh, basically this is, I know, and I've been doing this for uh, about 15 years now in the adult sector. Um, and there's very rarely a time that I can say it's been just focused on the individualized teacher and just us having uh, time to uh, talk about our needs and uh, concerns and everything else. So I think uh, hopefully you're going to get something out of this session. Although I have to full dis disclaimer, uh, you're not going to get any, uh, you know, uh, quick fixes or anything like that. But the hope today is I will uh, share the presentation with you. But uh, really, the idea today is um, to start a little network of individualized teachers so that you do have somebody to uh, go to when you do need something. So for today, uh, main goals, hopefully you're good with this. Networking, so creating a network for us, uh, like I said, people we can contact, a uh, place for resources and stuff that we can share. Um, we had you all fill out a little questionnaire, so I kind of extracted some of the themes. Um, so we'll look at those, and then the bulk of this is going to be everybody sharing ideas and resources, hopefully. And then where would you like to go from there? Because we can set up some next steps to um, make things happen more often for us. Uh, like I said, I'm no expert in it. I'm exactly like you are, except I've been doing individualized ever since like day one when I came in. So I know how you feel when you get dropped into a center from the youth sector, not knowing anything and everything's totally different in that. So, uh, and then working your way up to where you have a little more... Uh, a little more experience now, although I have to say that I thought as time went would go on that things would get better and easier. Honestly, I feel like I've, I'm like more now a chicken with my head cut off than I was, you know, almost 15 years ago when I started. So if you're feeling the same way, well, that's, I guess, normal, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> In this day and age, I think it, I think it is. First thing would be someone can put that in the chat, but the link to a networking and contact list. I thought, like, to me, if I came out with something today, it would be some resources and some people to contact. So all I did was create a little um, Excel sheet where I invite you, if you want to be contacted by somebody, or want to contact somebody, we have a sheet here and we can keep adding like as people come into the group and whatever, uh, your name, your email, maybe the subject areas that you teach in so that people would know who to contact who. Um, hopefully that's useful to you. Uh, I know as a teacher myself, like knowing who's teaching, it's very different when you're teaching individualized as opposed to a whole class when you're talking about things and you're developing your resources, you're not necessarily developing them the same way. So having that uh, is, uh, I think, one way that, you know, you can come out with something concrete from today. So you're free to fill that in throughout, uh, throughout today. Um, so resources, um, resources is one, of the, is one of the big things that themes that came out from you guys um, from the little questionnaire. And um, so I thought maybe if we had a place that we could deposit and share resources, it would be good. I divided it up by the themes that you're going to see in a minute and I'll take you there. I'll probably go to the themes now and then we'll come back to the resources. I'm going through this part really quickly, honestly, because I feel like our discussions are like the bulk of what this should be about. So it's not really about, you know, me talking and whatever, just giving you the overview right now and then uh, having some discussions. So the themes that emerged from what you guys wrote were basically this, uh, tracking progression and follow-up seem to be a big one. 
organization and planning, learning difficulties, because that's students with learning difficulties in, a, in an individualized classroom. It takes a lot of energy and things to uh, processes that you might do a, a little bit easier in a stand up class. Uh, are way more difficult in an individualized class. Um, engagement and motivation, doesn't really matter where you are. Again, you're gonna have that one. Uh, it's related to you know, their attendance, their life, their work, their, all of their autonomy, everything. And then uh, subject and course resources. So resources, again, something came up, you know, when you have resources and have people to call on, it's gonna make life easier. Um, around the themes, I kind of put some of the other things that came out, like I said before, the juggling multiple levels, subjects, competencies, well, on its own, that's a struggle, but it's like having all the, the other themes in there will help with some of that. A um, lot of people uh, have continuous intake too, which is another, um, another thing that uh, makes tracking and progression and organizing and all of that very, very difficult as well. So I think that probably sums up a good part of it. So if I go back to the resources, basically all I did was I took those themes and I created a folder for, the in, for us as individualized teachers. And I just put in some folders and here's your contact list in here, as well as the PowerPoint from today that we'll be using and hopefully putting some notes in and uh, just a place to put stuff. So there's not a lot in here at the moment, although there should be a CST course in here because I did upload my CST course. I'm not sure where it is now. Hmm. It's not in subject and course resources. That's what I thought it was, but I can't see it there. Hmm. Oh. Anyways, we'll find it. I had planned on putting a few more resources in, but with the COVID situation and everything going on at school, I didn't have time. But uh, over the next few weeks, I will populate it with some of my own stuff and things that I've come across uh, that I think would be useful um, uh, for you as well. Anyways, you will have access to this, so you can go and look at it. But uh, yeah, for right now, yeah, it doesn't seem to want to work. All right. We'll skip that. You want me to share my screen and do it? Yeah, you can if you want. I mean, it's 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 basically my CST course, so you're welcome to use whatever is in it. Um, I guess the main thing about sharing resources is uh, if you're like me, I had it took me a long time to actually want to share my resources with people because I always deem that I'm never done with them and they're never perfect and they're never great. <laughs> But at the same time, I've kind of come to the conclusion that if someone can start with what I have and make it better, well, great. Hopefully they'll share it back with me, but at least we're not starting from zero because that's like, as a teacher, that's like every time I go to do something in my individualized classroom, it feels like I'm always, always starting from zero. Um, especially there's not as much stuff in the English sector. There's not as many resources. And even when you do find them, they're not for that individualized uh, classroom. So, so really the idea here today was to allow you guys a forum to talk about um, your difficulties, your challenges, your successes, share some of your successes. So honestly, I had thought when I first kind of put this kind of together, let's say, I had thought, oh, I'll, you know, get all the information and I'll divide you into little groups based on, you know, the information that I get. Well, guess what? You guys all threw me like different types of information and I'm not really sure how the best way, like I want this to, how do I say, I'm going to stop sharing for a minute so that I can see you all. Um, but it's really to, uh, I want you to have a discussion with how many are we on here right now? 18. So um, a worthwhile discussion for you. So that being said, would you like to be split up by subject areas? Would you, the other idea was, would you like to be, uh, which is a little bit harder um, to be split up by like your realities of teaching? 
because that was my initial idea but then like our realities are maybe so different that we can't but uh what would be or by the themes so we kind of have three choices so if you want to like maybe write in the chat box what you think you might prefer so i think based on kind of the way it is maybe we'll do two groups do we want to just do two random groups sure. and you guys, each group is free to talk about the themes that they like. There's a place in there for notes. So just go to a clear one. Each group can take a clear. There's three, uh, three, I'll show you. I'll share the screen for a second. Back to there. So tracking progression and on down through uh, organization and planning. The, the five themes are there. Just go pick a slide and you guys can, uh, you know, someone can be a recorder while you're talking and put things down. And if you put in links to resources and stuff, I will take them and put them in the folders afterwards. So we're gonna, we're gonna split into two groups. I'm gonna have some, one of the tech people is going to uh, split us into groups. They are going to be random and I will pop into each one of the groups as we go along. This was our first attempt to get a whole bunch of individualized teachers together. Um, not sure how it went, but I hope you at least appreciated um, talking uh, with your fellow colleagues and getting maybe a, a few ideas. And uh, hopefully we will get, uh, if you have your name on the sheet, maybe someone will contact you, or at least you have someone to contact and know that they're doing the uh, uh, you know, somewhat similar to yours, because we know even in an individualized, we're all, we've all got individualized cases. Um, I'm just going to share again. Um, an hour isn't very long, and especially when you're meeting with a new group, um, uh, difficult to see what the things is, but uh, if you want to meet again as a group and try and get some more stuff going together and some more we can do something like that. We could do something specific in March at the ACE Online Summit. We could have another APC. We can focus it on a specific theme. Ha, you know, if you tell us what your needs are, um, there's uh, no problem. Um, you know, we can actually um, uh, be more pinpointed than we were today. Uh, today was really a, just about getting the group together and seeing uh, what your needs were in that and focusing. So if that is something that you're interested in, um, you can write it in the chat. Uh, you can email me. My email will be in here. Uh, it's at, on the next slide. You can get a hold of the RECI. They're involved here too. The EPC, like you get a hold of any one of us, we will, we will make sure we... Uh, we we do stuff um, with that. So so far, I've got to, it would be nice to have it focused on a particular theme. Um, and you know, theme, subject area, whatever it is your needs are, that's kind of where I'm coming from because I know what it's like. And I really want to do something that uh, that uh, will be a benefit to you. So, I, I will uh, take all of the, the emails from all of you who came today. I will email you out uh, the links to all the things that were here today as well, just so you have them if you didn't happen to keep them or whatever, that you'll, yeah. you'll, you'll receive everything from that. And you can always go back to the Après Cours website and everything will be posted there as well. Yes. So there's multiple every, ways to get a hold of us. And everyone who was here was on the mailing list is... Uh, a contributor in the uh, folder that the shared folder, so you can add things, you can take things, everything's there for you to. to and I have a number of things that I said uh, throughout the things that I will be adding uh, next week to the folders as well. So, um, yeah. So thank you very much for your participation. Take care, everyone. Thanks.